Well, welcome back into the Victorian Conservatory here in the Mid Norfolk Farm garden. And we thought we'd show you this now that we've brought most of these geraniums and pelargoniums back in for the winter season. We undertook a restoration of this conservatory over the summer. It hadn't been looked at by carpenters or builders for almost 10 years and quite a bit of the woodwork was suffering from the moisture and damp with quite a bit of rot. We had initially intended to undertake quite a bit of carpentry on it and replace that wood but we couldn't get the carpenter to actually come in and undertake this restoration work with the difficulty in getting building teams and tradesmen of all descriptions post-Covid, that just proved a bit of a task too much. So we undertook the restoration ourselves, more conservation than restoration. A lot of the woodwork has been filled and then repainted. We did strip the walls back and re-lime them. So all the green moulds now under a good layer of fresh lime wash. And we cleaned the floor up and then painted all the staging in an exterior farrow and ball. This is Dimity just to tidy everything up and now what we're doing is bringing all the geraniums back in and starting to feed these for the winter season. I've also brought my citrus lemon trees in. They've done quite well this season. They didn't really like the damp cold weather that we got. Didn't get a full on Mediterranean season but just look at that. I'm quite remarkably pleased with how well this crop's coming on. There's a good range of lemons right from a very small green one here maturing yellow and some which are near ripening and could be used they haven't all fruited quite as well as that but they've all got fresh young lemons on them and these bigger two over here i think are going to explode with lemon blossom usually this does happen over the month to six weeks after you bring them in just look at all the little buds breaking along that stem. They usually come into flower with the warmth that they get in this conservatory during October and not being exposed to the coldness overnight really does tend to bring them back into growth for a short period. So I'll continue to water and feed these quite frequently. They've still got some good growth coming on them. Look at that fresh young leaves coming out. But I'm going to have to check them regularly for scale insects and just pick those off because there will be a few left on here have been going over them regularly over summer. And then we're deadheading and cutting back the geraniums quite aggressively at this time of year. They've still got a good chance to come back into quite good flower. And these are budding up beautifully. I particularly love this really deep red variety, which one of my favorites is, I don't know the variety name, but it forms a nice compact plant that really performs. Just look at the volume of flower on those. One of my absolute favourites, and some of these plants in here are probably four or five years old. We just liquid feed these regularly. I haven't tended to repot these. They are in seven inch terracottas, which they seem to absolutely love. My other favourite, Shocking Orange. I do know the name of this. It is actually traded as Shocking Orange in the garden centres. Again, not quite as compact and squat in its growth form, but a really good flower and produces masses of these really bright orange flowers throughout the summer season. And we'll go on flowering right the way through to the end of November and a little trickling of bud over December in the winter period. In the corner, our money plant again has been out during the summer months and just look how lovely and glossy the leaves are on that. Hasn't been repotted. I can't physically get this into a bigger pot and still be confident that that stand's going to take the weight so that's in its final pot and what it is producing is masses of little plants that we're growing on and giving away to family and friends. This other succulent, again I can't remember the name of this one, it is quite easy to find online but again this one's been out over summer and it really has perked it up nicely. The other little things here, this is seeded everywhere, very leggy now. I should really take these as cuttings and do away with the parent plant or cut it right back and just let it shoot. This is one of our other favourites, this little 
cigar-like succulent which just forms absolute masses of upright growth and then during the summer this has collapsed a little bit so I'm going to tidy it up and just get that looking like it should an attractive succulent rather than something that looks like it's just collapsed which isn't a thing of great beauty I must be honest but generally I'm very pleased with the way the conservatory is coming back together we've got a few more bits to come in have the step ladder so I can water and just keep any leaf that's dying back off these. Now I'm trying to remove from the pots and plants because that will allow the air to circulate around them and reduce the likelihood of any mould and fungus growing in and around the bases, which really can be the kiss of death for these in a cold, damp conservatory that's not heated over the winter months. But just look at that. The overall appearance looking out from the house is absolutely wonderful. And I'm very pleased with the work we've completed here this year.